Hi guys, welcome to this week's reading vlog. So it is Tuesday morning, it is about 11 o'clock in the morning, and let's chat about what's going on this week, what I plan on reading, and that kind of thing. So this week is Contemporary-a-thon, which is a readathon that's hosted by Chelsea Nolling Reads, Pages and Pens, Mel to the Any, and Natasha over at My Reading is Odd. All the information for the readathon will be linked down below for you guys for future rounds. I think there's another one in September, I want to say. It's like late summer. And this is my first time participating in it, but I have wanted to participate in it before because I don't normally read Contemporary. I just don't like it. But I have a ton of contemporary that want to get off my shelves and I figure this would be the perfect time to read it. So I have a TBR for that and then I have my current read which isn't even a contemporary book, it's a science fiction. As far as other things that are going on besides reading for school and work, I had school yesterday. I didn't have work yesterday, I don't work Mondays and Wednesdays. And then today I don't work until 6, I work 6 to close tonight. Tomorrow I have classes all day, and then Thursday I have work from 3 to 7. Friday I work from 3 to close, 3 to 9.30, that's our closing time. And then Saturday I work from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. So that is work, and then classes I have on Mondays and Wednesdays, like I said. So that is that. Now let's get into the reading. So starting off with my current read, which is not a contemporary book, I am currently rereading for like the 30th time Star Wars Revenge of the Sith by Matthew Stover. This is the novelization of my favorite movie of all time. I'll go ahead and put the poster over here for you guys. This is the third movie in the Star Wars saga. It is my favorite movie of all time, and I recently rewatched the movie last week for again the gazillionth time I've seen it so many times and I was just in a Star Wars kid because I figured I would pick this up on Sunday right before the readathon started and I am 51 pages in and this is over 400 pages long but I can fly through this because I basically know the plot but I the back of my hand I have again rewatched the movie and reread this book many times so I'm currently reading this loving it so far so yeah, that'll probably be a five star read. And then we're gonna get into the TBR for the Contemporary Thon. Starting off with a dark or taboo contemporary. I'm reading or rereading Grey by Pete Wentz for this. This is my favorite book of all time. I did an entire video on it. I will go ahead and link it in the cards if you guys haven't seen it already. And I just love this book. I'm actually gonna be doing two rereads of this this year. I don't really just do one and it's usually during the spring, but I'm going to be doing it for this readathon as well as musicathon, which is happening at the end of March. So be on the lookout for an announcement for that. And yeah, uh, I love this book so much. Again, it's really short. It's just over 200 pages. I know I can fly through this. And then I'm also going to read The Summer That Everything Changed by Holly Chamberlain. This goes with the challenge of reading a book with blue or purple on the cover. This has blue, as well as a book with a picture on the spine. So there we got that right there. And yeah, uh, this is my TPR jar pick for this month. It is an adult romance taking place in Boston. And that's basically all I know. So that is that one. And then for the next one, this goes for a diverse contemporary as well as the most recent contemporary you purchased. And for this, I am going with Pride by Ibi Zavoy. This was sent to me in my October Owl Crate box, and this is a gorgeous cover with the pink. I really like it. And this is a modern day Pride and Prejudice retelling, and I've actually never read Pride and Prejudice, but I know the basic premise of the story, so I think I can go in not knowing anything about the original Tonk Talk, so. That is that. And then on my ebook reader, I'm reading Save the Date by Morgan Madsen. This is reading a book in a non traditional format, as well as read a category that you meant to get to in 2018 but didn't. This was one of my book club's picks for June, I think, of last year. So I'm going to read that now. I've already started that. I'm like 1% into it. It's contemporary, so I might take my time with that. So that is basically everything that is going on this week. There's a lot of stuff happening, but I feel like this could be. The week, cross my fingers and knock on wood, I could beat my reading slump. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and t leave you off, off here. I'm going to go ahead and watch some more booktube and then I will chat with you guys when I have a reading update. <laughs> 
All right, guys, I'm back. It's only been like an hour, if that, and I just realized I have a couple other things to talk about that I didn't mention in my intro, so let's talk about them now. So the first thing I want to talk about is something that I watched last night, and that is Shane Dawson's new conspiracy theory video that went up last night. So if you don't know who Shane Dawson is, where have you been in the past year? <laughs> Because he kind of blew up last year for his documentary series he did on Jake Paul, as well as Jeffree Star and TanaCon. Those were all really big last year. I have been following Shane for about five years now. I love his stuff. I think he's absolutely hilarious. And even the documentary series that he's done, I think they're spectacular and well worth watching. With the conspiracy theory videos, though, that went up the past couple of weeks, part one went up about two weeks ago, and then part two went up last night. They hooked me in from the beginning. If you are interested in that kind of stuff, which I never really was until I started watching Shane, uh, yeah, it, it's well worth watching. It's really great. They're like two hours long, each one of the videos, but they're, they, again, they're worth watching. And speaking of Shane, I'm actually wearing one of his sweatshirts that says, don't believe anything you see, which is kind of his catchphrase for those videos. So I wanted to talk about that. I did talk about it on some of my social media for my gaming channel, so yeah. I, I highly recommend it. It's, it's really great. So other than that, I do have one other thing to talk about, and that is a buddy read that I am doing this week. I'm doing it after Contemporary Thon is over, because it's not a contemporary book, but I am buddy reading uh, Peace and Toy Mile by Elliot Brooks, who is also a booktuber. Her channel will be linked down below. And this is an adult epic fantasy. It comes out on March 7th, I believe is the release date. If not, I will put the right one on the screen for you guys. But she, again, is a booktuber and her channel is linked down below. And again, I don't know much about it, but I'm buddy reading this with Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand and her channel will also be linked down below. She's a really great friend of mine. We're allowed to call her a friend. I love doing buddy reads. I haven't done many of them, but I think they're a great way to interact with the community. So if you guys are ever interested in buddy reading anything with me, be f feel free to send me a DM on social media or email me. All those links are down below as well. So we're going to be buddy reading this starting on Saturday the 18th. I'm so excited about it. Sarah's excited. We can't wait to get it. And hopefully you guys will pick this up in March when it comes out. So yeah, that is my official update for now. Now I'm going to go read and get started on the TBR that I have. And I will chat with you guys later. All right, guys. It is now about, let's see, it's like 2.30ish. And I am still reading Revenge of the Sith. I didn't put the dust jacket on, but yeah. I'm still reading it. I'm on page 172 and I've reread this book so many times. I've seen the movie so many times and yet I am learning more and more about the story the more times that I see it and watch it. And I'm really reading it and there's so much foreshadowing for the events that happen later in the book which I'm not going to go ahead and spoil for you guys, if you haven't seen the Star Wars movies or read any of the books related to the movies, it's just like the amount of foreshadowing. Because Revenge of the Sith in the saga, uh, like I said, it's number three in the movies, is really where the storyline of the saga takes a darker turn. It's a very dark movie. And I will say, and I'm going to talk more about it when I'm done reading it, that, you know what, I'm going to save it for later. Because I'll probably do a whole entire like five minute clip on my thoughts and feelings. And I'll, then I'll do a full review on my blog link down below. Um, talking more about it as well. Probably comparing the movie and the book. So I just wanted to pop in and tell you guys how it's all going. Still really good. Still probably going to be a five star read. Um, and yeah. So I will chat with you guys a little bit later. Hi guys. Happy... Thursday. So I didn't update at all yesterday because I basically had nothing to update on until like almost midnight last night. So yesterday all I did was go to school. I went to my classes at 9.30 and then 11.15 and then hung out with my best friend Heather right after. You guys have met her in a vlog before and didn't get home until 3 and then I spent most of the afternoon gaming and then I read a lot last night. So my update. I do have a book to talk about because I did finish it last night and that is Star Wars Revenge of Sith by Matthew Stover. So like I said in most of this vlog and last week's vlog a little bit, this is a reread. I've read it like 10 times before. It's an novel edition of the movie and I unsurprisingly gave it five stars. I just love it. 
and I'm gonna talk very briefly about why I love it so much in this video but I'll talk more about it in my wrap-up and I will have a full review on my blog again linked down below but what I really love about this movie in particular and why it's my favorite Star Wars movie and my favorite book of all time is it's a very interesting take on the chosen one trope so I'm not gonna spoil the entire series by talking more about it but there is a character in here who has the prophecy of the chosen one and there is the events in this book that question whether or not he actually is and I think anybody who's seen the movies probably knows who I'm talking about and it's also it's like that combined with the anti-hero story and also good versus evil and an internal conflict of that is really really good and the differences for me that really make this book stand out is that it's basically takes the entire movie but it adds more to it because the movie well I it's my favorite movie of all time I will agree it's not perfect by any means it doesn't have the best acting but the plot is what really stands out for me so again that's just my brief thoughts again there will be full more talk in my wrap up for this month and a full review on my blog so keep on the lookout for that but again I give this five stars I really loved it and then as far as what I'm moving on to next, I haven't started yet, but I'm also going to do another reread, and that is Grey by Pete Wentz. This is my first official read of Contemporary Thon, which ends on Sunday. <laughs> so I need to get a move on with this. It's extremely short. It's only like 220 pages. It's very short. This is my favorite book of all time. If you guys do not know, I have an entire video dedicated to this book. I will go ahead and link it in the cards. It's probably my favorite video I've ever filmed, so if you guys haven't seen it, please go watch it. I love that video so much. And yeah, I am really excited to reread this. I have been in talks with my friend Maddie over Miss Maddie Reads. Her channel will be linked down below, who we run the Musicathon, which happened last year in May. It's going to be happening again at the end of March, which more details are on that to come. But I will be rereading that or this book during that as well. So again, more details on Musicathon to come, but it will be happening in March. So be on the lookout for an announcement for that. So anyways, that is my update for now. I am gonna go finish watching some booktube and then get started on Grey. And then I do have to go to work tonight. So I will hopefully have an update with you guys after I get home from work. So I'll see you then. Hi guys, happy Friday. So it is about one o'clock in the afternoon and I figured I would just pop in. I do have some stuff to talk about as far as reading. But let's talk about the past 24 hours before I get into that. So, when I last checked in with you guys, I think I had just finished Revenge of the Sith and I was about to start Grey by Pete once. And that is still true. And again, I'll talk about my re reading in a second. Then, shortly after I left you off, I went to work. I worked from 3 to 7, came home, was planning on reading, and then I just played video games pretty much for the rest of the night. And then got distracted by Netflix after that. So that is that. I didn't do anything for Valentine's Day. I'm single and, you know, I've only ever been in one relationship in my entire life and that was back in high school. So I didn't do anything. I don't normally celebrate it anyways. So yeah, that's basically how my day went yesterday. And then today I really haven't been doing anything at all. All morning I've been watching booktube and now I'm just sitting down to read. And then I do have to work at 3 and I'm going to be working basically the entire night from 3 to whenever we close which is usually around 9.30 ish give or take a few minutes so that is that but as far as the reading I did get done I am on page 46 of Grey which this book is a very long and again I've reread it like God, good lord, who knows how many times at this point because it's my favorite book of all time. Once again, like I mentioned in several videos before, still really loving this book. If you are planning on reading this, and I highly recommend that everybody do so, just be forewarned, it isn't the most fast-paced book. It is pretty slow, and there's major trigger warnings for, uh, it's not an abusive relationship, but it is an unhealthy one, and suicide attempts and mentions of suicide as well as drug abuse so just before I go on going in knowing that but I love this book with every fiber of my body I again did an entire video on it last year my favorite video I think I've ever made at this point again it'll be linked in the cards if you guys haven't seen it and it came to me at a really dark time in my life so I love this so much and 
if you want some decent mental health representation, I would think you guys would really like this. So, yeah. Would like to finish this before the end of the night because, again, it's not very long. And then I do have some other things to do today. I Besides work, I have to film, edit, and upload today's video, which I think is either going to be the series I want to start this year or my Allocrate unboxing because my Allocrate should be coming in like any minute now. So we'll see about that. And then, yeah, that's really all I have to talk about right now, you guys. I'm going to go read and then go to work, and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. So I will see you then.